guys and welcome to day 16 of your fossil advent calendar. So in today's video I'm going to be talking to you guys about plants. Now this is a pretty big subject so I am going to try and summarise it quite a lot for you guys so you'll have to bear with me. But in today's world plants are so important, they make up over 80% of the biomass, they literally control the atmosphere and they are the base of most food chains. So they're very key but I'm going to talk to you guys about the fossil record. Now there's many different types of plants, there's many different definitions but the first this is a tongue twister, so you'll have to bear with me. The first multicellular photosynthesizing organisms first came into existence in the pre-Cambrian, so a long, long time ago, but it wasn't until the mid-Ordovician that we actually started seeing land plants that we know today, so that's about 470 million years old. But then during the mid-Devonian, we see what we see in plants today, so we started seeing roots, we started seeing leaves, so they literally resembled what we see outside currently. So they have they have evolved but they haven't evolved much since there, that's land plants anyway. And then we've got the flowering plants, so there's all these different types we have to take into account, that they didn't come into uh, existence until the Triassic period, so about 200 million years ago. And then the latest type of plants to evolve is grasses. I don't know why but I just I find that quite amusing and they've only evolved in the latest kind of 40 million years of the geological time. So Pretty cool, there's lots of different types, I'm sure you guys are aware of all the different types of plants, but um, that's kind of a very quick summary of the bits and bobs, and I have missed out a lot, so that's just a quick overview. If you guys are interested in this, I can go into more detail, but I'm now going to jump and show you guys some examples of the fossils we can find and the plants they resemble, so I can kind of take you guys with me on this plant evolution journey. Let's give it a go. <laughs> So I thought I would start with fern plant fossils because I think they just preserve beautifully. So these are some examples and they literally don't look like they've changed much at all. And I almost feel like they look like you've just laid a you know, piece of modern day fern just on a rock and gone, it's a fossil. Like the detail in some of these specimens is truly amazing. And I have been lucky enough to find some of my own in uh, coal slag heaps. Um, so I do need to go back and have a look at some point, but I really love fern fossils. And then this, believe it or not, is also a fossilized fern, but of the of a different type. So it almost looks like a flower, but it's called annularia. And uh, I think it's just a beautiful type of fern. And so I had to include that here. And I have also found some annularia before. So I'll have to find my fossils when I'm back in England and I can show you guys my plant fossils at some point. And then uh, I also had to include about fossilized tree bark because I mean, look at the textures on these. They almost look like reptile skin. Um, I think the detail is just amazing and it's really interesting to see um, these prehistoric barks to compare to modern. And then I have included a fossilized flower. Um, so I mean, for these uh, plant fossils to actually get preserved, they need really specialized conditions. And uh, there are some exceptional fossils that we have in our record but they're not super common um, because they need these uh, certain conditions otherwise they don't preserve at all so we're very lucky to have found what we have found so far so I thought I would include those. So that's all I got for you guys today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you did. I'll link all my social media down below if you'd like to check any of that out. And I really hope you enjoyed today's episode and are excited for what's to come. So hopefully I'll see you next time.